Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do a, a quick reading for you. This will be about a career in finance, love and romance. Um, thank you for being here. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on in love. Okay, that, the Knight of Wands. All right, so somebody is playboy, playgirl, not settling down, not letting grass grow under their feet, attractive, says things, makes people fall in love, has a lot of fun, is spontaneous, is up for the, the thrill, the chase. Um, yeah. This could be you, Cap. This could be someone you're dealing with. This could be a Sagittarius. Let's see what else. Uh, Nine of Swords. So somebody is, um, yeah, with the Emperor. So I don't know if someone's husband is showing up in this capacity to where um, he's he's causing a lot of anxiety. There could be separation or somebody's doing something at night or someone can't sleep or someone is crying at night. There could be an older man or a husband who is kind of flighty or flight risk. Or the, the Nine of Wands could be you. You're dealing with an older man here. There's separation. You don't know if you guys are gonna come back together. Something could have happened. What's going on here? for Capricorn the four of wands you're not sure if you guys are going to reconcile six of swords and come back together and, and make it work yeah so it could be that it's kind of up in the air somebody could have moved out of the home or or left or there's, yeah, something that's up in the air. Someone doesn't know if they want to actually reconcile. Somebody is still baby stepping it. Someone's trying very hard to get away with some secret or keep some secret also. Maybe from their wife. What's the outcome here for Capricorn? The page of swords. So somebody's going to do some spying. Or there might just be little to no communication because it just turns into, it's, you know, an argument. It just turns into a circular argument of well, what are we doing? And, you know, just more so more questioning. Someone isn't sure if they want to actually reconcile completely. It's like they're just dipping their pinky toe into it. Or someone isn't sure if they want to live together or... get married or something like that or elope one more card for Capricorn cards don't want to talk let's see all right page of cups at the bottom of the deck here um it will be good news this could just be a false start between the two of you with these pages here it's just not time it's not time for something to be, you know, regained or restarted here. Because somebody is up two minds. They're keeping something from you. It could even be about sexuality or duality. Yeah. All right. So let's see what's going on for career and finance. Career and finance for Capricorn. Career and finance. It's like somebody wants to keep you, Capricorn. Career and finance. Ace of Pentacles, very nice. With the Justice card. I think Aquarius just got that. So some of you who are Aquarius, Cappy, they got it just like this. Um, the universe is bringing you some balance by way of a large sum of money or just opportunity for growth so that you can have wealth. Yeah, eight of wands, all the obstacles will be removed. You'll be able to move forward fast, take action 
on something or in something here. Law of attraction. This is what you have been pulling into yourself. This is what you have been exuding. Yeah, the four of pentacles. So for some of you, it's going to be like newfound wealth, a large sum of money, your penny pinching. Um, this could even be stinginess. Keep in mind that money is energy. You got to put it somewhere where you can grow it, right? What is this? What's going on for the Capricorn? That looks, career and finance looks really good. Wow. The Magician and the Ten of Cups. So it's something that you have been manifesting. Yeah, it's something that you have been working on. You had an idea in your mind and you want it to come to fruition. Um, therefore, you have been working on this thing. You have been praying about it. Uh, you have been using all your resources, all your time, all your energy to make it happen. You have taken matters in your own hands to actually make this thing happen. To see some fortune after difficulty with the Ten of Cups. It could be a friend or a family member who comes to you who wants to do business with you, maybe even partner. It says, look over the contracts. It just says that this is going to be a prime opportunity, a time uh, where, you know, you, you're going to be very happy. Um, the stage is set for happiness. Okay. Um, what's the outcome here? Whoa. Um, the tower. Okay. And the devil with the star card. All right. So be careful for what you wish. Be careful what you wish for. Um, some of you could be Aquarius Capricorn cusp. Don't be too extravagant in your choices and with your money, with your time, with your energy. If it's going to be something that's going to have you bound or tied to you might want to say no to it something that's going to have you maybe it's going to be competing with your other goals and it could come out of nowhere so keep that in mind in terms of career and finance also that's what i have for you capricorn if it resonates let me know how it resonates down in the comment section Go over to the website book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can always catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Capricorn. Many blessings to you. Take care.